Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dean Hop Realtor. Well, tell me the north part of the Canyon Lake area in a little town called Fris Fisker. Let me get that right. Because I have clients who are considering buying this house behind me. It was built in 2017 and just over 1,700 square feet. Let's go check it out. This house is in a very quiet part of the community. No HOAs. The lot is a little odd because most of this is a half acre lot, but most of the square footage of the eight half acre you're seeing right in front of you. So you have a long driveway leading up to the house. Try not to show the sellers have their vehicle here, but this is kind of neat, especially if you have a small boat that you want to be able to pull in. You can just open up the gate and wheel the boat in right there. There is a shed that you see up in front of me. It does have its own air conditioning and heating in it. It can be used as an office or just storage. But uh, yeah, let's head on inside to this house and check it out. Beautiful door. All right, right when you come in, you see the open area, some taller ceilings, which is really nice. It's not gonna be a super long video because like I said, this house is 1747 on the square feet. So it is a three bedroom home. You got your kitchen and breakfast nook space right here. Stainless steel sink. Now I'm always gonna prefer a granite composite sink, but at least it's not a 50-50 sink. So that's really nice. Your breakfast nook space. Moving the china cabinet, which frankly, who uses a china cabinet anymore? Uh, we'll open up this space a little bit because they got some extra refrigerators and deep freezes there. Nothing spectacular about the kitchen. They do have a built-in microwave. Now, currently, there's your pantry. Currently, they are asking just over $400,000 for the house. And as I'm filming this, it is 11 uh, June, no, 11 July, 2022. Man, time is flying by. This is one of the bedrooms. Check out the closet space. Hmm. Nothing spectacular about the closet space. The one bathroom that is open to the public and these two bedrooms. Shower tub combination. Nice little tile set up there. All right, and then the other bedroom. I'm trying to respect the folks' privacy. Not the biggest bedroom, but if you're wanting to use this as an office or something, you definitely can. You can tell that's what they're doing there. And these closets can be about the same size as that last one we showed you. All right, before we go to the owner's suite, well, we do want to point out nice big wood burning fireplace, which is kind of nice. Let's go check out the backyard. Nice covered patio with a fan. The sun's gonna be setting on the north, I mean on the front of the house. So you will eventually have shade on this back porch, thanks to the house. Now, this house has an irregular plot line. So you not all of this backyard is usable, but you have some beautiful oak trees back here. Now it's usable as in this backs up to someone, another subdivision that has a one acre lot into it. No one's going to be building right behind you. You just can't build on everything on this lot. But it is on a septic. We see the septic system there. But it's kind of this corner of the property goes way back here. And you can see the fence line. And you can see where this post is at as I walk up to it.
you've got this post is actually kind of the edge of the property line. So not a lot of land that you can use, but you can enjoy because there's nobody gonna be back here. It's like there's some construction going on, but all this property is in that property line because we're just to the right of that. And get a good look at the roof. Roof looks like it's in good shape, but I'm not a roofer, but the house was also built in 2017, so it's fairly new. You see you got a propane there. We're helping with a heating. Let's check out. Okay, well, I tried to get into the storage shed, but my key does not work. I locked it when we checked it out with the clients. And I guess when I locked it from the inside, the key I have doesn't work. So let's move on. I definitely want to show you the garage and the master bath. All right, we are back in. This is the garage. They've done a wonderful job on this garage. Once I turn the light on, you will see. It's amazing just how a well-kept garage shows. You have your attic access space, love. They did the uh, enamel on the flooring. Lots of storage shelves up here. So very well organized garage. Very clean. Does have a water softener and water heater here. Another little closet right there in the hallway, but let's check out the master bedroom. You have the tray ceilings, tile floor still in here. Hit the lights. All right, we have double vanities, adult height vanities, so you don't have to bend over. The water closet. And then I didn't hit for the shower. There we go. A good sized shower. Very nice. And then the master bedroom closet, which is a good sized closet. And you got a door there going to the outside patio. All right, that's gonna wrap a tour of this house in the Texas Hill Country on the north part of Canyon Lake in a little town called Fisker, Texas. This is a three bedroom, two bath house, two car garage, 1,747 square feet, built in 2017. If you got any questions on it, and, and the seller's asking right around 410, if you got any questions on it, I'm here for you. And if my clients don't make an offer on it, I'll make this video public and hopefully we can find a buyer for it. I do the, this house though is represented by a no realtor on the sell side, but I can always help you with the buy side. All right, take care for now. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and keep sharing these videos with your friends and family. Take care now.